from Nobody Calls Me Leah and I'm here today to show you my travel journal kit. If you've seen my other videos, you would know that I have a travel journal. It's this one. It's the regular size traveler's notebook in navy from Traveler's Company. I have a set of video of this up on my channel. Here's a card if you haven't seen it. And I've been working in this book for a while, especially this week. I've been trying to get things done here. It's been taking me a while because travel journaling involves sorting through memories and photos. And I seem to be super slow with that. <laughs> so I'm not ready to show you the inside of this book yet. So I thought I would show you my supplies kit all the supplies that i'm using for this book i've put into this kipling 100 pens case if you've been in the planner world for a while you would know this case it was all the rage a while back and i still have it it's been with me for around five years i guess or seven years maybe <laughs> I don't know anymore it's been a long time so it used to have a lot of pens but now that I have my Delphonics pouch I put my everyday planner supplies inside this pouch and I kind of needed to have a use for this case so I decided to make my travel journaling a lot faster I would put all the supplies that I use inside this case. So I'll show you what's inside. I'll zoom you in and we'll get started. Okay, so let's put the travel journal aside for now and let's open this up. I think this is called the Kipling 100 pens case because technically it can fit 100 pens. But since I'm using this for my travel journal supplies, not my regular planner supplies, which live in my Delphonics pouch, also all the mason jars on my desk, it's more convenient that way. And I don't really need to bring a lot of pens around with me. I just have a few here. This case is really old. I have ink stains here. <laughs> I made the mistake of storing this case vertically. Well, it works for me right now because that's all the desk space I have. <laughs> but I should store it horizontally next time. <laughs> so, I don't have a lot of pens here. This is a fine dip Sharpie. A light colored one in blue. And this is an orange Muji gel pen. And then this was a freebie from a shop. I forgot which shop. It's a very cute Tokyo Disney Resort Halloween pen. Look at those little ghosts. Cute. And then I have several Muji pens here. These are actually markers. I love them. They have two tips. One is thicker and then the other is a finer tip. So I like that. I have light blue, dark blue, purple, and orange. And then I have these Tableau pens. They're fine tipped also. So they will add some color to my journal pages. And then these are just pens that I felt like keeping in here. This is a very old Parker pen. It's engraved, I think. I just can't see it right now. <laughs> and then... This is another one. I forgot what brand this is. 
Oh, it's a Pilot Fountain Pen. I forgot where I got this, but I should start using it and put some ink in it. So there. I just like them there because they're cute. And then here are my journal supplies. So I have washi tape. So a lot of these are actually room themed because I'm starting my travel journal with my trip to Rome. So this is Italy themed washi. You can see the leaning tower, some wine, pizza. It's very cute. Some Roman figures, the Colosseum. It's so nice. I got this from Shopee. And then these are travel stickers. Just luggage stickers, I think. Oh no, actually travel stickers. I will probably use these down the line when I move on to other countries for my travel journal projects. I want to document all of my past trips. Most of these are luggage stickers. Very cute. <laughs> it's a nice backpack. And even a coin purse. Super cute. Suitcase. This is from Shopee also. And then more Italy themed washi. <laughs> I think this is specifically Rome. I just got these washi samplers from Shopee. So there. So fun. I'm so excited. I haven't used this yet. <laughs> I need to be careful with these. And then these are just journal ephemera cards. Actually just sheets of paper that are travel themed. I'm gonna use this a lot. So these are the Versa Magic Dew Drops in chalk ink. So one is sea breeze and then the other is gingerbread. And then I've had this dewdrop for a while. It's the brilliance type in moonlight white. I haven't used this yet. I need to find a creative way to use this. I don't know why I got this, but I should use that in here. I have correction tape, of course, can't live without that, and I have a big tube of glue. These are travel themed stamps. It's a start today clear stamp set from Everyday Explorers Co. They're very trip themed, travel themed. So. I'm definitely going to use this here. I actually bought it for the travel journal. This is an old stencil from a Starbucks planner. You see there's a plane and clouds so it's perfect for this travel journal. I have a ruler. And then this alphabet stencil. I think that's going to help me also in the travel journal. And yeah, that is everything. Let me fix these so you can see everything.
I think I'm missing some more supplies. I will add to this kit soon. But for now, these are the things that I'm using for my travel journal. And that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!